Okay, let's see here. Uh, five o'clock shadow. Maybe Scarface. Oh, damn, son. You got clawed. No means no. Stupid. Huh. Oh man, goatee. <laughs> Sorry, not a douche. Mustachio. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm gonna go at uh, five o'clock. I think. Hair. Wild brown. Boot. Oh, the possibilities. Uh, let's just go with military brown. Sounds good. Civilian. I triggered something. But uh, what? <laughs> I triggered something. But what? I triggered something. But what? Uh, kind of a pussy. I triggered something. But what? No. Feel my wrath. Feel my wrath. I like this. Oh, I don't feel too good. Okay, shut up. <clears throat> Stop talking. Ah! What the fuck? Jeez. Hmm. What do you name the most awesome hero? I will call this man... Bill. See what I did there? Guess my name is Bill. I'm so funny. I would like to continue. That's a big ladybug. Oh, fish! What? Hey! It's a thing, floating ship of some kind. Here we are, Farglo, the place where our disciples become true dragon slayers. And today, the honor is yours. The, uh, <clears throat> the honor is all mine, baby. Whew, look at you. Those uh, shoulder pauldrons, I guess they're called. Kind of epic. Okay, um, you're not coming with me, baby? Though I should very much like to enter the village again, I am forbidden to do so. Only once in their lives may dragon slayers enter it, as disciples. Okay. In any case, it would be imprudent to join you. This is a part of the journey each slayer must walk alone. But I want you with me. You're kind of awesome. Hmm. Okay. So when we meet again, I shall finally be a real slayer. Not completely, no. Huh? After the initiation, we will head back to Rivertown, where the ritual will come to its conclusion. Okay, why not? But let's talk about that on the Zeppelin when we head back, shall we? Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? They are quite simple. Seek out the men and women who reside here and benefit from their knowledge. That may sound a bit vague, but don't worry. Farglow will explain itself. You'll have to see for yourself. Don't be so apprehensive. You'll be fine. Yes, ma'am. This is a momentous step in every Slayer's life, but few have fared badly afterwards. See ya. Good luck, Slayer. Awesome. So, uh, yeah. Hey guys, this is uh, Bill, by the way, from Soya Gaming, playing um, Divinity 2. As you can see, yeah. So I've been I've played this game a bunch of times. I really love this game, and I decided I need to show share that love with the uh, everyone else. Bunny. <gasps> I can. Come here, come here. Oh fuck! I kicked the bunny. Oh god. That was brutal. Come here. And yeah. Oh god! In the face. Mm, time to ninja bunny this up. So just so you guys know, this is the entire game. I'm just gonna run around and punch bunnies. That was a Jedi punch. He was like. Three meters away from me, and I killed him with my fist. I'm so ready for this. Hey, you want to go? You want to go, the bro? The disciple arrives. Let me bid you a fond welcome to Farglow. Thank you, sir. And I commend your patience. Most slayers loathe being referred to as a pupil. Yeah, I don't like to be the middle of someone's eye. Such a belittling word, disciple, is, wouldn't you say, for one who has since the age of ten been groomed to become the elite of man's warriors? Thanks for the exposition. But don't you worry. You'll earn the title of Dragon Slayer soon enough. 
Commander Rowe told me to benefit from knowledge that is to be found here. Couldn't have put it better myself. Well, good. In fact, I have but one thing to add. Morgana is waiting by the waterfall. Find her, and the purpose of this day shall become crystal clear. Are you wearing eyeliner? Is that red eyeliner? Hey, I'm not judging. I'm just curious. This seems like a weird way to look really intense. Uh, who's Morgana? The Archmage. She's an intimidating woman, to be sure, but ah, pleasant enough in her own way. Well, that's good to know. Her laboratory is at the back of the village, next to the Divine Memorial Flame. Um, who else do I need to see? Oh, several people. But she'll send you on your way after her part of the ritual. Nice. The others probably won't share more than a few words with you until they know you've visited Morgana. Well, good day, sir. And you, Slayer. Da! Don't you fucking run! Yeah. Da! Da! You spawn! You evil minions of the devil! Did I just laugh? Wow, I am so weird. Can I kick this? Is this like Fable? Will I kick this thing? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, I just killed it. And apparently I got gold for it. Oh, chicken Another leg. one to add to the collection. Nice. Okay, so I'll need to go to the waterfall. Like I said, like I said, I've se I've played this game several times before. Um, but it was a long time ago, so just because I've played before doesn't mean I'm good at it. Ladies, hey baby, how you doing? You wanna talk to baby? <laughs> you wanna talk to babe? The pig? I mean, of course you do. Okay, fuck you guys. I need to go place. Ah, victory is mine. Victory over the bunny. I saw Holy Grail. They're vicious creatures. Well, this is ominous. Suddenly, fog. No. To combine that brew with last night's herbal distillation might cause an implosion. Hi. Try it anyway. You can be so irresponsible sometimes. This is where I back off slowly, right? That's easy for you to say. You can't die a second time. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's not go there. Let's just, I'm just gonna go back to Commander Road. I can be a normal soldier, I don't need to be a, a slayer. I'll just keep going, ah, oh, fuck it, hell. Good to see you, disciple. You too? I am Morgana. The Archmage of Farglow. Is that something to brag about considering this village, Farglow, is like three houses big? I mean, I'm the Archmage of my god, of my apartment. I mean, that's not a big deal. Uh, now that I think about it, I'm gonna call myself that. I'm the Archmage of the apartment. Anyway, you're hard to miss, Lady Morgana. The way everybody refers to you. Oh, everybody makes a bit of a fuss when a soon to be slayer arrives. Nice. We all have our fields of study and a good life to lead, but the village can get a tad dull. But let's turn to the reason you are here, the ritual that will make you a true dragon slayer. Yes. The secret to a hypnotic juggling act? Okay. You have a smart mouth <laughs> on you. Thanks. This is a serious ritual, though, so do pay attention. You're funny, but shut up. I got the message. To be a slayer is to hate the dragon, but also to understand it. Nice. No other order in Revelon takes the old military adage, know your enemy quite so seriously as the Academy does. To attain this goal, I will infuse you with the memories of dragons. Awesome. It will make you understand their language, motives, powers, and weaknesses. I will do literally anything for this. It will also color your eyes silver, the noted characteristic of the Slayer, which will enable you to see the spirits. Ah! I need this so bad. The ritual has a side effect. What? But nothing can be done about that. No one tried to con like do anything about this side effect. Just you just accept it as fact. That seems a bit unfair, if you ask me. Um, uh, tell me. The real drawback is this. 
The spell was not originally designed for the brain of a human. So to make place for it, you will lose your active knowledge of your years as a slayer. Well, uh, well, that seems fair. I mean, knowledge as a human versus knowledge of dragon. It's unpleasant. I realize that. But a slayer needs those dragon memories in order to operate. I like this deal. The only comfort is that your powers still persist on a subconscious level. So you'll regain your skills rather quickly. That's nice to know. Becoming a dragon slayer is a harsh occurrence, but you'll become one of Rivalan's greatest heroes. The, it's so great. Can I just have my dragon memories? Or do, It's nothing interesting here. Those years have all been futile. Oh, God. No, no, they haven't. Let me go emo for a Your moment. Your training has made you a force to be reckoned with and has shaped a mind that rivals the wise teachers of old. And yet, I'm going to lose everything. Don't, don't say one thing and take it back, lady. Lesser people will be driven mad by the dragon memories. Only one as arduously trained as yourself can absorb them. Oh, that's... Nice. Take comfort in the fact that slayers like Rode and Marius have faced the same ordeal and went on to become mighty warriors. Marius? All oh, right, I didn't talk to the, the other slayers. I was kind of enraptured by Rode. She's so cool. Uh, what do you mean by a slayer needs those dragon memories to operate? That is a good question. I'm gonna the memories not only check. give you more insight and knowledge than a man could absorb in a century of unbroken study. Okay. They also protect you from mind attacks the dragons perform. Without that, you'd be a puppet doing their bidding. But now Fair enough. you have equal mental strength, so dominance in combat can be achieved. Let's do this. Dragon memories given to me. Then prepare to become a dragon slayer. Fuck yeah. Uh, goddamn. So And that's that. The fuck was you that? Might experience some dizziness for a while. A journey then, my friend. Your path is an empty page ready to be filled. Hey, with tales lady, can we talk about this? Adventure. But before you trot that, out that again, thing. such dragons and distinction, make sure you meet the veterans here. Alberic, Aravir, and Gawain know more about their trade than anyone you are like. This is not nearly as important as what is standing next to you. And don't forget Isabel. Look at that thing, it has the two heads. She will share with you, aside from the dragon memories, is the most prominent one you'll receive in Fargo. Okay, out. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, but enables to see the dead. Quite so. You could call it a perk that comes with the power of the memories. Wonderful. Everyone can see the living. Did he dead, swallow a, a second head or something? Poor souls that have fallen prey to necromancers, but to see the ghosts of those long dead is a precious ability. And will prove useful more frequently than you may think. Divine blessing, Slayer. Thanks. The last ingredient needed to achieve uh. effective luminosity still eludes me. Maybe we could add some fire flowers. That might solve the brightness issue, but wouldn't exactly improve the taste. What's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Did you suck on a power line when you died? What is up with your hair? Ah, uh, yes. There's that famous wit of his. Slayer, meet Toro. What's up, dude? So formal, yet relaxed. Most are chilled to the bone the first time they see a phantom. You have a second head. Where do the spirits of the departed normally go? The Hall of Echoes, of course. Don't tell me you've never heard of it. Uh, I have not. Still, can we please address the second head? It looks like it's in pain. It's a transitional place between our world and the next. What's our fucking talking to you? I'm talking to the freaky ghost! Rumor has it your memories are eaten away so that you can enter the afterlife unburdened by the sorrows of this life. An unnecessary precaution, if you ask me. 
I have mostly fond memories of my time in Riverlong. Yeah, you look like a real party animal, dude. How come you still dwell here while most of the dead don't? Most ghosts you'll meet are there because of unfinished business. The strength of their will not to move on until that business is settled is what binds them to the material world. In my case, it was my passion for alchemy. I will not find tranquility until I have fathomed all its innermost enigmas. Yes, the Sorcerer's Stone. Or the Alchemist's Stone, or whatever. The Philosopher's Stone. You know, turning everything to gold. That's alchemy, right? Could take a while still. Okay, see ya. You know where to find me. Yeah. Oh god, there's blood oozing out. Oh, f oh god. I'm is that medicine no, fuck you. Life? I'm going. I don't want to hear it. God damn. That still freaks me out, even after playing this game before. But like I said, th this, that was years ago. That God, I don't remember him being that creepy. Okay, now I'm gonna take this moment to... Oh, really? Sun setting? I'm gonna talk to people. Uh, Frederick. Prince who became the Pope, slayer turn novice, so it goes. Remember though, gold may be wealth, but silver is power. Give them time. Great, you're useless. Excuse me, lady. I seen you Marian. Here before. Enjoy your time in Farglow. Thank you. S Gerald? What's that I hear? The sound of a newly stocked coin purse? Oh, let's trade then, Slayer. But I don't have money. He doesn't like me or hate me. Well, that's nice. I oh, I got money. Well, I don't. I don't have enough money. You want some chicken? Uh, never mind. Okay, I must some go. Other time, then, yeah, whatever. Hey, whoa, purple guy, what's up? Welcome, welcome. What can Tiberius do for you? New haircut, different color, tide of your face. Always, man. This face is bumming me out. Are you a local barber or something? <laughs> oh, no. But there are times I feel like a glorified one. Cute. I am the illusionist. And should you want to adjust your appearance, just come and see me. Uh, no. Toodaloo. Remember, if you want another look, I'll be here. Okay. No, I do not want that. Uh, I want to talk with this woman, Sarah. Don't mind me, Slayer. I just take care of the piggies here. Can't teach you no special magics. Local farm girl, huh? Hey, I'm the hero of this story. Want to go into the barn? Something like that. Me and my husband Tom oh. were the Farglow's pig farmers. Though I'm the one doing the actual herding, he's more the town's cook. I like it that way because I enjoy the outdoors. And Tom, he just likes to stick close to the cask of ale in the kitchen. Well, ah, man of my own heart. That pig looked like they was covering its eyes with his ears. Bye, Slayer. Bye. Sorry, I didn't know you were married. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Fucking. Yes. Chicken leg. Okay. There. You want. Hmm. Something tells me you want to talk to me. I see you have met Morgana. That means we can proceed. Indeed. Do me a favor and think of something, anything. But don't speak aloud. Hmm. Now, this is a role playing moment. Do I think about fear, like facing a dragon? Do I think about delicious pork chops? Or am I flirtatious, thinking of how cute this girl is? I'm gonna go with this one, because she is cute. I'm flattered, but I'm afraid this is neither the time nor the place for frivolities and frolicking. There's always time for frivolities and frockling! Frockling? Frolicking! <laughs> Surprised? Surely you have heard of the gift of mind reading that dragon slayers possess. No! Maybe. You have also wondered how they come by such an amazing ability. Never, because I never knew of them. The answer is easy. I bequeath it to them. How? Where did where did this come from? It was a skill given to dragons only until a scroll was discovered that bore the spell. Well, good thing someone wrote it down. A slayer found it among the ruins of a dragon knight citadel tower, and we have used it ever since. 
course. It is one of the reasons you are here. Now stand still and look into my eyes. Did you have to say it so seductively? Or what I'm imagining is seductively? I will look though. Why did you close your eyes? That doesn't make any sense. Why did you come in my face with magic? There you go. The secrets of all shall be revealed to you. Let's try this out. Mind read. One XP? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Woo. Nice Achievement. try, but you can get out of my head now. Not even Morgana can read my mind. Really? I hope I can return here at the end of the game. Give you a what for. Be aware though. Strong minds are difficult to read and come at a cost. So you will have to work on your skills if you want to perfect this art. I will. Fare thee well, Slayer. Can we talk some more? Please. Ah, use mind read. Mind read. Ugh, can't read today. Kill a chicken. Kill a chicken. So ninja. Okay, let's see here. I'm supposed to talk to people, right? Hey, uh, you, sir. Interested in archery? I'll tell you all about it if you like. I'm gonna read your mind first. No go, Slayer. I'm a bit too advanced for your level. How do you know about mind reading? Okay, what? This is obviously not a secret, huh? Who are you? I'm out of here. A ranger born and bred. Archery is my occupation and my passion. And it could be yours as well. Mm, why should I do the way of the ranger is the one of the hunter the woodsman Master this art and the enemy will never even see you coming actually. I'm kind of bulky So I, I think it's hard for me to like sneak around in the woods you walk the wilds quietly as the deer But you will strike with the force of wolf fangs Yeah, I, again, I'm not much for the woods Just make sure you are always the one doing the hunting I'm not the rabbit that stumbles into the snare. Talking about rabbits, did you see what I did to the bunnies outside? No? Okay. Um. No, I'm not gonna I go with the bow. Initiations. Screw it. Bows are for pussies. You're a what? mage, right? Oh, the newborn. Uh, yes, I'm Alberic the wizard. So, magic, you know, I recommend it and such. So chill. Yeah, I like magic. It's cool. Let's see, what, what's on your mind? Look, another newborn tries the new gimmick on me. <laughs> Why are you glowing, dude? I should place a no trespassing sign on my brain or something. Yeah, do that. That was convincing, man. I don't have all day. My experiments, they keep me very busy. Well... But fine, go ahead. I'll indulge you for a minute. Well, let's talk about magic for a while. First of all, the Slayer wizards are no fairy tale cliches. No toad tickling beards and silly hats. No, just uh, cloaks, right? And glowing skin. They are warriors like all the others in the Order. However, their weapons are the physical expression of the powers of the mind. Those who command these forces can vanquish all foes that they literally put their minds to. Of course, even the strongest intellect may be exhausted if used improperly. So it's up to the mage to see that this doesn't happen. What kind of experiments? Oh, many things. I'm currently trying to make the metaphysical physical. Which is turning out to be quite a challenge. I imagine. Then there's the perpetuum mobile and the turning of base materials into gold. You need a philosopher's stone, man. You should talk to uh, Toril. I think the combination of the two would make for especially interesting results. Yeah. Look, man, no offense, but I don't feel like wearing a dress anytime soon, so. Sure, sure. Now, shoot. I'm busy. Yeah, fuck you too. Okay, so obviously I'm not gonna go with the ranger pussy thing because shooting arrows, that's not me. That's never gonna be me. Uh, mage is pretty fun, but fuck it. Also, I know how you can play this game, so... Haha. -ha. This is more like you have to get a feel of the game. I'm gonna go with the swords right away. 
So I'm going to talk with Gawain. Your eyes shine brighter than they did before you came to Farglow, Slayer. I'm going to try reading your mind as well. You're just going to tell me to go fuck off. Only the divine could read my thoughts, Slayer. And he didn't even have the dragon skin. Yeah. Get used to hearing the word divine as in a person a lot in this game because apparently the divine is a person. Hmm. An actual person, by the way. So, with whom do I have the honor? Gawain's the name. Old Paladin of the Divine Order. Sweet. My life has always been that of the blade. It is an art I will teach you, should you want me to. Well... Why should... We know why. And a Divine Order. It is Tell an me. order of paladins, founded by the Divine after his ascension to Demigod. We have fought the Black Ring in all its forms ever since until the Great War and the Divine's death at the hand of a Dragon Knight. You're really animated, aren't you? Just thinking about it still makes my blood boil. You Slayers do commendable work. Exterminating the Betrayers is a just cause indeed. Only one more of the beasts to go I have been given to understand. I hope you will contribute to its demise. So it's there's only one dragon left, huh? That's harsh. Kill the last dragon. Okay, why should I? Ah, let's just do it. Excellent. I'll give you the warrior powers and a sword. Nice. Find Sonya. She provides the live targets around here. More chickens, please. Woo! Fargo connection. Uh, I get to pick one of these. I, I, okay, so I get these. I get these. Hmm. I'm gonna with more experience. Thank you. Yes, I do. And I got a motherfucking sword. Someone has a new shine in the eyes. Easy. And a frown on the face. <laughs> with good reason. It took me years to cast a decent fireball again. Really? Look at you. Not a scar on your rosy skin. You're a newborn if ever I saw one. I don't see any scars on you either, lady. I don't mind read you just for that. <laughs> it always tickles a bit when you need fun. Mind if you just try that. This is really loud. Could you turn down the portal or whatever? Aching well, to learn, so lady. Then, not everyone has that attitude so soon after the memory ritual. The best thing to do is to get back in the saddle as quickly as possible. Just say the word, and I'll give you something to fight. Now this is what I was talking about. If I choose a discipline, is that the, fin the final no, choice? No, you can no. change disciplines as much as you like. Alberic, Aravir, and Gawain don't mind. Yeah, and they... yeah. But you oh. can only have one of the discipline spells on you when you leave the village. Warrior, wizard, or ranger. Isabel is not amused. Yeah, I have to pick one, but later I can just pick whatever skills I want. Later you can train all three parts like I said. again if you like. I just said that, lady. Okay, let's just let's do some Very training. Well. Summon some goblins. Nice. So you just have a place where you kill goblins, by the way, Isabel. Yes, Slayer. Nothing. Fare thee well, Slayer. Bye, babe. I wonder when the Slayers will catch the last dragon knight. Never mind. Oh, the dragon is Kill freaking goblins! Whoa, hello. <laughs> Die! Die! Super die! Die! Yes! You're so ugly! Any more of you? Come on, this is supposed to be a training ground. Give me more! Oh god, you're like little cyclops. Like ninja! And jumping and fuck! Oh! Did that hurt? I think it did. Noob. Suck it. Hey, Toro! Toro! You look shitty! Kinda like a dying cactus, you freak! I don't like that guy. He's showing up with his extra head. Where was I? Alright. Done with training, lady! Well, I might as well. Head out. Whoa, that's. Hey. Back for more, are you? Nah. Always welcome, Slayer. Okay, I guess. Someone has a new shine in the eyes. And a frown on the face. <laughs> I guess that's it then. Huh. Wait, I'm gonna talk to this lady. 
Barbara. Welcome to Farglow Slayer. Thank you, Miss Mindry. Three. Oh, poor Gerald. He's such a ferocious reader and has read every book in town. Next time I travel to the city, I must remember to bring him back some new ones. Ah, uh, never mind. Never mind. Kills chicken. Nah. You get to live, chicken. You look more than ready to head back to the Academy Slayer. What? But remember, you may only have one of the veteran's spells on you when you leave. So choose wisely before you depart. Yeah, that's fine. This works for me. Academy? I'm gonna be a slayer. I'm done with the Academy. I'm a warrior, damn it! Mom, tell him I'm a warrior! That I'm super strong and cool. This is pretty freaking cool, though. I don't know how it works, and I don't need to know. Road! I got a sword! Finally, you're here. I apologize, but I'll have to extend my congratulations later. Uh. 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 Yes. Do it. We don't have time for mind games, Slayer. Aha! Mind games. So funny. <laughs> Hot. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, why? Moments ago, we received word. A dragon was spotted in Broken Valley. A, you mean THE dragon. While this surely is exciting news, the timing is less than perfect. Okay. You were supposed to do a ritual that would channel the dragon memories, which is extremely important for your health and that of your surroundings. If we postpone it for too long, you will go dragon wild, and the ones that survive that terrible affliction spend the rest of their lives in deep dungeons, eating their own tongues and clawing out their eyes. That doesn't sound nice. Let's avoid that, okay? Horrible though that prospect may be, the dragon takes precedence. <laughs> so I hope we'll be able to improvise along the way. <laughs> You're gonna, probably, you might actually die, but this flying lizard we need to kill first. Thank you for the love, Road. I see you're equipped with a sword. You're sure you want to face our foe as a warrior? You know I can choose however I want. Don't be crazy. Sure, come on, let's send some dragons. The destiny of the dragon slayers shall come to its conclusion at last. Quickly now, all aboard! Two tiny propellers are flying that airship. Or Zeppelin, or what? It, no, it's not a Zeppelin, is it? Or? Maybe it is. Hello, Wyverns, I guess. Fuck yeah! So goddamn excited! I really, really love this game. Whoa! Man, that thing can cut corners. Just go around corners, just like corners, corners. If I lived in a tiny village such as this and saw that coming, I would shit myself. <laughs> 